Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Boulder Canyon here in Farming Simulator 19. We're just going to leap up onto this one and put our sea drill away. Or at least stuff it over here in the corner somewhere out of the way. We're going to be buying a shed for the vehicles very soon. Not quite sure when. I was saying that I was going to buy a shed and put it over there behind the grain bin in front of the big stone. And I may still do that. We've gone and planted it once over there. So it is like a little bit of a waste, but I don't think it's going to be too bad over there. Um, we're not going to have wasted too much of it because, like, the, yeah, there's a little bit of seed that we will have put in there. But we've either got to do it now, or we've got to wait until we've done two harvests. Because we want to run this comparison between two harvests to see exactly what we're going to get. But what we're going to need to do now is it's 16.58. It is very nearly soon going to be time for going to bed. What I would like to do is get to the morning. Because right now, let's just stop our tractor right there. Uh, you know what, actually, before we do that, let's take our tractor over around to the fuel. Because he is a little bit low. We could do with a little bit more juice in this ba this, this, this bad boy. Um, it's um, easy over there. I, I don't really want to go flying over it too fast and thump my skull on the roof of the tractor. It's not a pleasant sensation. Trust me, I've done this before. Now, we jump up to there like that and start filling you up. It's not filling. Why aren't you filling? What? 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 Why aren't you filling up with fuel? Maybe I need to be in a different location. Let's try that. Ah, there we go. Right. Select the silo. I would like that silo right there. There we go. We're filling it up, and the money is ticking down there. If I move it just over there like that, you can see the money ticking down. This is costing us a fair bit to fill this one up. Actually, this is costing us more than it. This is more than I thought that it would cost to fill that one up. $360 worth of fuel gone into there. That is quite a slice of cash. Still, it's enough to keep us going, so that's that's a good thing. Uh, we could also do with tidying up, steady, tidying up the sheep a little bit. We've still got the wool over there. That's going to be our first task in the morning, is moving the wool out of the way. And, well, not moving it out of the way as such, but more, more selling all of the wool. So let's park you there. And we'll go over to this tractor over here. We will get the front loader on and we will go and clean up the grass in front of the sheep. And then once we've done that, we can skip the night and move on to our next task. Which should be, in theory, selling all of the wool. That's what I'd like the next task to be. So we will leave the pallet forks right there like that. And turn around and grab the muck fork here that we've been using. And grab that one. There we go. Excellent. And then we can go and clean up these sheep. And what is wool right now? Wool is actually, I believe, on its way up, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's already up to 815. Silage went up to 302, so silage is actually pretty good at the moment. Our last lot that we sold, I well actually I think it was about 290 something, so we didn't do too bad out of it last time. Um, it's, you know, a little, little bit higher right now, but I, I still think we did alright with it. It's gone up to 302 and that's as high as it's going to go, so um, yeah, it's, it's, I, I did think for a minute that it was going to go like way above 300, but it's not all that much, not really. It's a little bit up above it, but not really. Let's just go and tip that in there like that. So that is those looked at. And then I can go over here to the sheep. And I've got plenty in there. We're also just fine for um, water and everything else in for them and, and food and, and all of that. So we'll just put that one down like that. There. Stop that like that. And then I'm going to start fast forwarding at 120 times speed and we're going to go over and we're going to get some rest some much deserved rest a well-earned break I, I feel that we've definitely earned this one so I, i'm just gonna have to sit here until what is it is it seven o'clock or is it eight o'clock well if it's seven o'clock it'll work any second now you ready for this 
It is 7 o'clock. Right, we will get 11 hours sleep. Just like that. There we go. So we work until from 8 o'clock until 7 o'clock in the morning. But So we're going to go slightly past that. Where it's, it's quarter past 6 right now. As uh, due to rain shortly, wool is going up. We're fine for everything else on there. And wool over here has stopped at 995. Not quite the thousand that I would like, but I'm happy to stick with that. I'm, I'm happy to go with that price. So let's bring you down a little bit like that. We're minus 6,000 at the moment. We've got four full pallets that we can sell. We may have... Actually, I don't think we are going to have any more than that. It's the, the four full pay. We got that one there. No, uh, 6,000 and then 2,000 over there. So we don't have any more pallets than that. I will go and do the grass here a minute and then I've got to start moving those pallets of wool and this is always the tricky bit is moving the pallets. We can use the auto load but it auto load doesn't actually work very well for unloading the stuff and that's the bit that I don't like. Um, I did previously use auto load for doing the wool pallets and several of you said that you didn't like that I was doing that and you felt that I should be doing at least some of the tasks regularly using standard methods. So that's what I'm going to do with the wool. We're going to use standard methods. I mean, I might be able to move two pallets at once. And yes, I do appreciate that it's not the best thing to go and do for the pallet forks themselves. But, I mean, the pallets of wool, so we'll probably get away with it for these. Maybe the lime wasn't such a great idea. Pos quite possibly, almost definitely, certainly. Wasn't such a great idea doing it like that, but, uh, yeah, we, we did it anyway. Right. Oh, hang on. No, I'm, I'm leaving it on one time speed because I want the price that we've been promised right now. 995. It's not quite the 1,000 that I would prefer. And it has previously gone up to a 1,000, but it'll do for now. We'll, we'll stick with what we can get. Now, if I bring you down like that, and I lower you in... There we go. Down a little bit more. There. Right, there is a single pallet. I'm going to do this one pallet at a time, I think. I did just say that I was possibly going to do it two pallets at a time, but honestly, I think it's going to stay on the forks a bit better if we do just the one pallet at a time. Um, the price isn't going to change in between each pallet because we've left it on the one time speed, so I think that's also for the best. So we do that right there. That is $9,950. I've got that a couple more times. And so that might give us enough money to do the shed. If it does, fantastic. That means that we can go straight on with the harvest. It looks like, actually, we've got... Um, have we got weeds come up in the field? Let's have a look. Fruit type, growth. We have the field is covered in weeds. It also needs ploughing. Oh, it doesn't. Right, remove the fertilizer and the lime. No, it doesn't need. Well, it doesn't need ploughing on that bit because that's a new bit. Um, and I used an actual plough for that bit. The fertilizer I have got. If I remove that and that and that, and we've got fertilizer except for one little strip up there, which I'm just going to ignore. Um. So yeah, it's it needs we've we've got weeds all over the field now, which is not really a great thing. Now, this next one, I'm thinking if I bring this around like this over here, I'll place the pallet down here. Now, the the difficult bit with these is taking the pallet off. That's always the difficult bit. If I'm going to put that one to there like that, actually that's come off perfectly. That's, that's done exactly what I wanted it to do. I'm going to leave that one there and then I'm going to get the next full one and I'm going to stuff that one in over the other side as well once we've moved it and then the part one over there I'll do similar with that. I'm just going to move it straight over. I'm not going to actually go and sell it because we don't have another full pallet on here. Lower you down a little bit more. Pick you up like that. Right. So I'll take this one round and we will empty this one out. 
I mean, some people did say that I should, you know, if, if we've got a full pallet, I should just be able to sell all of the wool that I've got. Once I've got a full pallet, sell all of it. But others have said, well, no, actually, we should just stick with the full pallet. So it's kind of... It could be either. If we've got, like, pretty much a full pallet, but I don't think those other two count as a full pallet. Not really. So, um, you know what could be the decide... The ultimate decider on this would be how much is the new shed. <laughs> that could... I No, but I haven't got I haven't got a full pallet, have I? Look. Let's have a look. Or is it a full pallet? That's uh, 6814. And... Oh, actually, you know what? That is literally a couple... Seven, eight, is 200 shy. That's only like a couple hundred shy of a complete full pallet. So, okay, I will do it. Because it's literally just under a full pallet. I mean, there's hardly anything in it at all. We could actually say that, yes, that is an acceptable option. So, I will do that. I will do all of these pallets. And we're go we are going to do them one at a time. I want to go like that, there, shove you over like that, that's too far, I took it, I, w I went too far, I went too far with it, no surprises there, right, I'm going to have to gently sort of nudge this one up a little bit, so I want to get it lined up with that pallet, and then I also want to move everything back over the other way, then I can get the pallet forks into that pallet, Go over here like this. There we go. Right. And bring that over and down a little bit like that. Yep, that's perfect. Nudge it up that way a bit so that I've got room for all of it. Then pick it up. Like that. There we go. Look at that. Look, we're cooking on gas now. Put this one all the way over. I'll have to do a little bit more nudging around just to make sure that they all get back, put back in the right places once we're done. So this is going to make uh, five pallets all together. So we're, we're making, we're going to get just under $50,000 for all of this. $50,000 for wool. I'd say that was pretty good going considering the only thing that we've got to put in for these sheep is a bit of um, grass. That's literally it. I mean, we put hay in rather than grass, but... We don't need to put hay in. We don't need to go to the trouble of making hay. We could just go and cut a bit of grass and dump that in for them. And that would be all that we would need to do. We, we do not need to do anything else for them at all. Now, I'm going to put that over like that. And then just gently nudge it up there. A little bit too hard by the look of it. Um, take this one round. Oh! Okay, I'm very good at doing that. I'm very good at going around the corner a little bit too fast without paying attention and then having the pallet slip right off the forks. At least I can pick it up again. Look at that. Okay. We might be able to salvage this. Let's see if I can bring that one round there. I want to bring it, sort of swing it in like that. And yeah, I'm quite happy to nudge that one up. And then this pallet here. I'm going to leave that one there. Like that. There. So that one can stop there. Then I will go and get this pallet over here. It's the next one that I want. And then those two on the outside will get those two last. I'm going to see, actually, if I can get those two together. I know that I said, yes, I can do them one at a time. But um, as they're right next to each other, and I've been doing this for ages, I think it would be quite acceptable to try and do them one at a time. Uh, try, try and do two at a time. Right there. There's no harm with doing two at a time. Let's just bring that one back up there. And like that. So, yeah, it's that pallet. I'm, I may actually have a bit of trouble getting this pallet to come off the forks because it's not entirely straight. We'll see. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. It's the putting the two at a time where you put them beside each other on the pallet forks and then it all starts to go a little bit crazy. I think that's the one that we're going to have the real trouble with. So there's another pallet done there, another 9950. That makes $30,000 that we've got, which should be enough to do the shed that we want. That should be enough for the shed, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking that's almost definitely going to be enough for the shed. Now you... Yeah, I can put this the other way around. 
I think that's going to be just fine. If I just drop that one in like this. There. Bring that one in a little bit further. And about there, I should think. What do you reckon? Reckon that'd be acceptable? I, th I think that's going to be all right. Okay. And then swing you up this way. Now I want to go straight in that way there. Um, go on up a little bit there and in here. So there, we've got 12,900 litres on these two. Should be all right. Just want to go a little bit slower with this one, I think. Like that. Steady. Right. So far, so good. Down over the little bump right there. I'm wondering if I should level that bump out a bit once we do a little bit more landscaping stuff. Smooth that one all off. Right. There's those two there. There's another 12,873. That makes $43,000 that we've got all together. And we were minus 6,000 some odd when we started. So a fraction under $50,000 for that little lot right there. Absolutely fantastic. That is absolutely awesome. It really is. And there we've got like the, the little bits where it's really uneven going around. You see, I don't think we need to worry too much about making sure that all of those bits are even. Right? We don't have to have everything evened out as we go through. We'll... Put it up to five times speed again now. Now that we've got our guaranteed price. We pick that one up. And then bring you two over here like this. Take them off like that. They've sort of connected together and, and stayed stuck. Which wasn't quite part of the master plan. So if I just gently shunt you over there. Then we will go round to the other side. And just gently nudge those pallets back in onto the main... Um, pad on there so that all of the wool is going somewhere let's just push that up a bit more right that one's all right there that one's all good and then I want to go over this way and just make sure that goes right in as well yep that's all good as well okay so there is those bits done the sheep are taken care of and we've now got a pile of money let's go and see how much it's going to cost us to do a little bit of building work i'll bring you over here you you can just sit down there because i'm not actually going to need you to do anything other than move pallets and stuff like that for a little while i don't think um raise that a bit there we go like that okay job done that's that bit done so now i can have a look in here and i can go to there and we can go to sheds nine grand for that one that's a really big shed there that's a big shed. this is the one that we want actually this nine thousand dollar shed right here that is the shed that we want and i'm thinking over here is where we want the shed to be so I'm going to bring up that so that we can get an idea of the height. And we're going to spin it round. It needs to be over here like this. We don't want it to be up high like that. I want to spin that round. And I want to zoom in like this. Right, I can put the shed there. Actually, I want to put the shed right back near the stone back there. But what I actually want to do is control E. There. I want to lower that down like that. I want it down at that height down there. Just like that. That's where I want this shed. Right, I can't put it there, but that's, that's right in a tree back there. I'm going to bring that forward. Let's, let's um, spin around a little bit. So that's where I want to put this shed, is, is right back in there, sort of like that. If I go too far into the um, into the hill over there, it, it starts to get more expensive. If I bring it out here, this, this would be sort of the best location, I think, for it. Somewhere like that, and then bring it back a bit like that. That's room out in front of it there, isn't it? 
That's as low as I can put it down there. $16,400. And we put it into the side like that. Right, so there's that bit. Then I need to go into here and we need to start landscaping. And this is the important bit. Right, you look up over here. And this is the edge of the field up here now. And I've, I did, I've, I've put it up that way a little tiny bit too far for my tastes. So first up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just smooth this out a little bit on this side, which is also going to remove any crop that is on there. Because what I want is this to be a bank. But I don't want it to have like sharp edges on it. So that's got to come out over to there, like that. There, we'll tidy up this edge a little bit more in a minute. I just want to smooth it off just a little bit right now. Like that. I don't want to do too much over here. And I do want to smooth a little bit there, and I want to get rid of that crop. Right, so there's that bit done over there. Down this side, I don't really have anything that I need doing with it. I don't need to be smoothing anything off. So all I need to do here is... Well, first, I do need to change this bit. This is Definitely got to be moved. So I want to do that. What I actually want to do is I want to come over to here. And I want to take this level right here. And I'm going to bring that through so that it smooths it off. Like that. So I've got that level over to there. And then I want to go in a little bit more. And I want to make sure that that level is... Uh, it's pretty much the right level. It's the same level that will go all the way through. Just smooth that. So I'm, I'm not doing it a huge amount. I'm taking the level from back there. And then I'm using that for this shed here and I'm pushing it all the way through the shed up to there like that and then coming back down through here so there's a little bit behind the shed as well not a huge amount but more importantly I'm removing this bit right here this bit here we're flattening this out like that. That's gonna. That's also gonna be a bit more expensive. Flattening that bit out like that. But again, that's an acceptable thing. So I'll put that back to there like that. And now, I can spin round a little bit, and I can start doing a bit more of that. Where I was going like this, there, and just kind of blend that in on that corner like that. There, bring that back in on the edge of the field up there, just to smooth that off. And smooth that. That's looking pretty good there. I do want to move into the edge of the field a little bit, just like that. So that we've got a bit of a grass bank coming down. Actually, I like this. There's a little bit of a bank there. And a grass bank like that, I think, is absolutely fine. Bring that around there. I think that's pretty good on that side. I like that. I'm going to change the texture that we've got here. We'll match this concrete in through there. We'll do that in a minute, though. So there's nothing else that I want to do in here. So, actually, we'll do that now. So, we will now change landscaping mode so that we're in paint. And we want to go... Actually, first up, I'm going to need to go to... Ground... This grass right here. And then... I will shrink that down so that we've got that smaller because I need to get rid of any crop that we've got in here. Alright, remove all of this crop that we've got right here out to about there, I think. Just make that the edge of the field there. Like that. And I'll bring it back in a bit from there. Like that. That's, actually, I've moved. I've gone in a little bit too far there, I think. Well, maybe not. It's not going to hurt to have it against the side of the shed a little bit, is it? So we go up to there like that, and I'll just pull a line there. Right, I think that's pretty good. And a line there. 
Another bit there just to move that out just from the edge of the stone a bit. So I don't want it in too tight. There. I know I'm getting... The bit that I don't like is I'm getting rid of the grass that's up against the stone there. I don't really like that I'm doing that. And then... That there, I will straighten that up, sort of coming through there like that. And that's done. Right, now, concrete. We switch you over. We've got ground type. It's not that one. It's not stone. It's that one. That one right there. And that's the one that I want going into the shed. So I'm actually going to go up to the side of the shed like that. And we're going to bring that through this way. And I'm doing it at an angle like this. So it doesn't... It Like an angle doesn't normally come out quite so good with this um, design thing. With the landscaping stuff. But I mean it'll work. We'll make it work. I do it to there, like that, there. Right, I think that'll be all right. We can do it like that. And then if I go over this side, that bit will go back around there like that. If I just move that in a little bit there, I'll leave that as a grass bank. And then this bit in here can all be filled in with concrete. How much is this costing? Uh, it's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad a price. Right, I can just extend that one out a little bit. Um, a little bit there, look. Yeah, we just, just want to take that edge out a little bit. And then fill in this bit. And we are done. We have got the new shed. We've got everything else that we want in this bit in here. I think there's anything else that we need to worry about. So there's all of that. And we've got now storage space for our vehicles. So let's get rid of that one. And then... Go over here to you, start you up, and we'll go over and have a look. There's actually, there is one more little bit that I want to do, and that is the edge of the field right there. That bit looks weird. I don't like that, so I am going to landscape that bit out a minute. I'm going to come back over here, like that, look. And the concrete is going to go up here like this, up to about that point there and then we're going to switch over to some dirt which is that one and we're going to take off this corner over here like this that's going to come round like that and then just going to push that up there like that one more little bit there right that sort of works I got a little bit there that I think I should remove, but you know what? I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave that because you don't always have a dead straight edge to a field. Sometimes, for whatever reason, there may be little sort of bends and stuff in it. So I think that's actually all right like that. And then we've got something similar over there anyway. That is gonna. That is really going to irritate me being like that. You know what? Let's switch to the concrete there. And I'll push that up there, like that. So that I've got the edge of the concrete coming up just a little bit further than we had previously. And then it's coming up to the edge of the field a little bit. It's just pushing it in a little tiny, tiny bit more. And then if I switch mode like this, I can simply do that. And I'm not making any change to the actual height of the land or anything at all. But what I am doing is just eliminating the very edge of that bit of field. Now that's a lot better. There. I bring that down over here as well. There. That's better. That's much better. There. It's, it's still slightly rough, but it's not sort of um, weaving in and out like it was previously. There. So now I can bring you over here, drive up through here, there we go, we've got our new shed, I've got lots of room all the way around it, let's get our baler and put the baler in there, I think that's the first vehicle that we want to put away, and we're also going to want to put the mowers undercover, the seed drill, that's going to need to go, there's a lot of things that we want to put undercover here, but I think the baler has got to be the first one, that's probably the most expensive machine that we've got out here, uh, the wrapper is 
actually not that far behind, is it? So let's take this one. Run it over here. The combine, that needs to go in, in one of the bays as well. That The combine will go in this end bay right here, I think. I'll put that one in there. And then the baler is going to go on this end. I'll put that one right in as tight to this end as I can, I think. So I'll bring you in there, like that. And back you in round there, like that. Straighten you up a little bit. There, now straighten up a bit more. And... There we go. That, that'll probably do about there. Right, so we'll drop the baler down right there. And then I will get this old combine here. That one can go in the other side. Let's go back there and lift that one up. Right. That one will go right up against this side up here. See, I'm actually thinking that maybe the combine would be better off slightly more in the middle. Because then it's, it's not going to have the weather blowing in on the side of it. But at the same time... You'd still, you probably still want to put a tarpaulin over it or something like that. You don't, you don't have to just leave it like that. But at, le at least we've got some shelter for it. There's a little bit of shelter for it right there. So there, ladies and gentlemen, is our shed. We've now got that one in place. That is absolutely fantastic. And that is all I've got time for today. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to go and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.